Hello and welcome, I'm the Imper, and this is Bellright. Let's check this out, shall we? As for the options, I left it pretty much on uh, defaults. Here you can have a quick look on all the things that we can set up. Something interesting I found is the sound options, because look at this, AI voices. They've, they, they say, we are using generative AI during development to prototype the voice acting. Expect professional voice acting for the full release. Now, I'm expecting, I'm fully expecting to be contacted by the developers of Bell, right? To be part of that professional voice acting for the full release. But, I think I will be disappointed. Let's jump into the game. This is a survival crafting thing. And, of course, the fir very first thing is, who are we? And we are, of course, the Emperor. There's no doubt about it. And I have a randomized button, which is my favorite thing with these things, especially for uh, recording. So we're just going to click that for a while. So we get an idea of the range of characters we can create here. So it's, it's not that huge of a difference, honestly. So we'll just be this lad and we'll start the game just like that. Let's see what this is all about and also how this AI voice generation thing is going to work. This is certainly a long loading screen. Still loading. At least we get to hang out with a pig as we wait for the game to become a game and not just a slideshow. There we go. Loading done. Isn't it funny how one small decision can have consequences that ripple? through history? Or are we victims of a predetermined path? Was it chosen for you the day you visited your favorite woods on your 10th birthday? Was it destiny that the royal family were hunting there at the same time? From a tree on high, you watched as Prince Voldar and Princess Osen laughed, talked, and tracked wild animals without a care in the world. And you watched in helpless horror as a stray arrow bolted through the trees, hitting the prince in the chest like a lightning strike. Just like that, the prince was dead. And when the princess found you standing over her brother's dead body, it felt as though the gods were playing a cruel trick on you all. In the panic and confusion, you ran from the scene as fast as your legs would carry you. Fueled by rage and grief, the king demanded the head of any child who fit your description. Ah yes, reasonable as always. Your father asked a friend to bring you far away. Away from the king's wrath. In the middle of the night, you were taken from your home and brought away on horseback. In tears, you called out to your mother, but it was too late. Your old life was over. For years, you hid from the royal family, your resentment growing. You heard stories of your homeland, the rise and fall of a rebellion, the death of the king, and the reign of the evil Queen Osen. But on the eve of your 20th birthday, your guardian, the man who smuggled you out of Calvinia and kept you safe. Listen, I think these are AI generated as well. Like there are some things like this as he died in your arms that make me think some of this might be AI generated as well. sigil emblazoned upon it. A clue. Now, you have returned to your homeland for answers. Through choice or through fate, vengeance would be yours. But how will you fare in a land you no longer recognize? Oh, this is definitely a bit of a story for a survival crafting thing. Or I misread the game entirely and that isn't even that what it is. <laughs> so, we'll have to see. Oh! Oh, that's jarring. Oh, that is jarring. Oh, the pop-in. 
Oh, 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 the performance. Oh, boy. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, then. Story of the Lowlands. The Lowlands are the poorest of the five regions and one of the oldest. Its occupants rely mainly on agriculture for their livelihood. Due to the scourge, the people are barely producing enough to sell, let alone to keep for themselves. The current controlling Lord Ashburn is cruel. We pressed C for show. And that is... Okay. Story of the Lowlands, resources, villages... Okay, that's just something to open or close. Lore, history, history, the Carvanian uprising. That's basically the story that was just told to us. All right, okay. Okay, let's let's look at the. Ah, oh, okay. The walking animation is not too bad. Is that a fish? Oh no, that's a vase. I think. Okay, I can't punch anything. So this must not be a survival crafting game. I can't punch anything, so... Clearly. Talk to Dobrin Orklin. Or Yorklin, the Elder. We see a little bit on the on the minimap down there. Where we're supposed to go. So let's try and get there. In one piece, maybe. We will simply follow this path. I mean, this looks pretty nice. That's nothing much to scoff at. Is Wait, is motion blur on? Let me check that. Why do they always do that? Who in their right mind wants motion blur? Instant improvement. Oh, wait. Hello. We can harvest stone. It is a survival crafting game after all. I'm not going to talk to anyone. I'm just going to harvest stone now. There's also stone. Ooh, tin ore. Yeah, I think every time you pick something new up, it does this It does this little thong sound. There is a limit what, to what you can take. Some things belong to people. Can't just steal from everyone. Does it also apply to sticks? Yep. Excuse me, this stick belongs to that village. How we know? I couldn't tell you. Maybe the stick is engraved. Alright, so my inventory is full. With this. <laughs> I don't think that's... Okay. That's a bad inventory. We can craft a thing which costs us one wood. We have to hold down to do that. So maybe we can... It fell on the ground. Because we didn't have space for it when we made it. There's more on the ground, because we didn't have space for it. I can't stack anything in this game. Okay, this is... This is weird, to say the least. That's a quaint little village here. I got some sunflowers going, some huts. A field with one scarecrow. Some lamps, even, that are shining bright through the day. These people must have candles for days if they are just le letting those run all day. Let's talk to our first NPC, Dobrin Yorklin. I think we need to talk, traveler. You're a new face around here, and new faces showing up rarely ends well for this village. I have a duty to my village first and foremost. I need to know who you are and why you came here. I mean, you know how I came to the lowlands looking for some answers. Have I done something to offend you? Don't take it personally. You might be the kindest soul in Carvenia. You could also be a spy or a bandit looking for information to use against us. Now the sound mixing is really off. Ooh. Can be a death sentence these days. That was a spike. As as you're asking questions, you're putting us in danger. I must admit I didn't expect such a frosty reception. What am I supposed to do now? That is not my problem or Hayendine's problem. Which is the village? Somewhere, if you insist on staying in the lowlands, come back when you're set up, and maybe you can earn your keep. So be it. Here comes the in-game tutorial. Build your first shelter, a shack. To do so, press B. Open construction menu. Select shack and place it on the ground. Each construction. Oh, I like that. So on hired villages will help you out with more complex constructions. All right. 
You cannot place buildings too close to existing villages. Building, uh, finding a good spot close to all sorts of resources is your first big decision. That will affect your logistics and... Cool. So, I have no idea what resources I will need. So, I also have no idea where best to set up. I'm, I'm assuming... I think this... This little icon there is just telling me basically that this is the village or something along those lines. I think I've upset some people. I'm just looking around here and these guys are coming at me and they have weapons I, I do not, so... Probably not a good idea to try and build here. But we're all very leisurely jogging. It's more like we're out for a run together now. Look at us. Making friends. Oh, okay. That wall stumped them. That wall saved my life. Thank you all. Thank you so much. So not there. I keep finding these little places. Which I don't know if I can just build around them, you know? No! Oh! Okay, a pig, a a giant monstrous pig just came out of the out of the wood. Ah! And I can't, I can't, I can't fight. Like, left click does nothing. Wait. No, left click still does nothing. Even if I have my trusty torture group. Maybe the wall can save me again. Okay. So I don't think I will settle there. Because things have been killing or trying to kill me over there. So, so maybe I go a different route. Maybe I go this way. Maybe I just... There's stone here, there's wood here, you know, nothing has tried to kill me on this side of the ball. I will build my personal shack now. F. Ooh. So we place our personal shack and, and now I need to, I think I need to deliver resources and, and hold down the... Okay, that... Add additional material. Okay. After some fiddling and walking about, I found me enough to build an axe. I had to throw out a bunch of my precious stone. But there we go. So now we got an axe which we can put there. And I think I also want to have a club, which costs us another four wood. So let's let's try and find that around here. Okay, no, let's use our axe. Cut. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, no. What? Wait. So, I'm used to other games, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna cut down a tree, and then I get this, and now I have a, I have a log. Which, I don't quite think is what I need for my little shack thing. I just realized this. You have to, like, these are, these are points here on the building, you have to walk around. And add things to the individual points. That is an interesting system. That's definitely different from what I know how these work. I'm not sure if I like it, but it's different. So, randomly this just popped up. I'm looking for flax. I don't know where it is. 
I haven't found any since the first batch that I found. So this just sleeping restores your HP fully. When you in uh, when you and your companions lose a battle, they spawn but become injured for a certain amount of time. When they lose again before healing, they die forever. Injuries apply for uh, for various negative effects. But <laughs> game, I'm looking for flax. I found sage, which isn't the same thing. I can't use that to. to oh, there it is. There are bandits ahead. I will just try and see how the combat works. I got two weapons. Oh, wait, we need to pick up the flax. That's important. So there's one, there's two dudes, but maybe it's the three together or the four together. Oh, that's maybe not a good idea what I'm trying to do here. Oh, 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 ouch. Okay, all right. Okay, thank you. No, thank you. Goodbye. No, mm mm. Alright, so the, the combat is jank. Pure jank. It, your arm reach matters. If you stick your arm into the enemy, you don't hit nothing. And they just kind of lock you down and kill you. Okay, that was, that was really bad. But I found more, no, that's sage. Darn. Is that flex? Yeah. Okay, so I placed the last part and suddenly we're just inside this thing and it, it has a fire and everything like we just threw some stuff on there and then that's that's what it just kind of looks like this shack will provide a personal place for you to sleep along with a private chest all right okay here's a private chest so we can put some things in there like flax for example and our precious stones like the tin ore here we, we do have a you know torch which we can't really do anything with yet. So we'll just throw everything in there. Can I, I can probably also put my log in there. I mean... There's some space. It does orient itself, so that's pretty cool. And it is nightfall, so we just made the right choice here to get that. Wait until tomorrow to check in with Dorbrin Yorkland. So we are gonna go and sleep in our shack number one. And hope we never have to fight ever again because that was scary and I think I'm gonna just leave uh, or, or rather die. This uses the Valheim food system basically where you have food, it spoils eventually, which I hate. Really wish survival games wouldn't do that. And basically you pick some, like the berries and the mushrooms here. And then you drop them on these on these food slots here, which then you can see increase your stamina and stuff. That's how this works. I mean, let's pick a few more while we're still here. I keep pressing F because in all these games, usually it's F. We have made our way back. There's a cat. Can we pet the cat? Yes. Now this happens via pressing F. Most important elements of these games, you can pet the animals, so at least some of them. Good stuff. Now let's talk to this man over here, since we are now living in the woods. So, not really homeless anymore, only mostly. Won't talk until I sheath my weapon. Fine. I still have things I need to do here. Nothing has changed since yesterday. I'll tell you what. We actually have one problem you can try to resolve. If you're willing, of course. What is the problem? It gets cold around here, especially close to the mountains. If we want to keep ourselves warm, it's we require for an old rabbit or wolf pelts, but just to see our bellies to stave off hunger's bite. Well, we got into a little discussion about how things should work in the village regarding payment. Uh, get to the point, my man. He doesn't want to work with us anymore, but Herndeen mostly depends on him to provide. I want you to convince him to deliver traps. If you can bring us rabbit fur too, that would be very much appreciated. 
but we can't expect you to do that every day. We want to be self-sufficient with our fur trapping. So the priority is the traps, and the rabbit fur would be a bonus. Take care of that, and then I will consider your request. Why do I get the feeling there's still plenty of tests to come? Who knows? I'll see how you do with this test. But first, go and find this hunter. To find him, you will have to talk to Amelie first. She's a bit of a troublemaker, but her heart's in the right place, or so I have to tell myself. She has a good relationship with everyone in the village, and knows nearly everything that goes on around here. If anyone can point you in the right direction, it's her. That's what I'll do. Let's see. So, something I think that games will never get right about realism is when it's raining, people don't just walk around everywhere. Look around in your city or where you live. It's raining. It's, it gets empty. People just kind of get into their homes. Let's see if I can find the lady here. There. You. You there. Greetings, newcomer. Say, have we met before? Your face is awfully familiar. You have to be Amelie. Elder told me that you know where I can find the hunter Lubomir. What can I do for you? Lubomir, do you know him? Do you not listen, woman? Unfortunately. I need to find him. In the forest, just up the hill, not far from the village. Perhaps. I found Lubomir. But he's walking away from me. Come here. Ah. Uh. Let me put away my weapon. Lubomir. What are you looking for? It's dangerous to wander around the woods alone. Haven't you heard about wolves or bandits lurking in this area? They almost killed me already. You don't look like the hunting type. So what are you doing here? Wolves and bandits lurking in the area. Bandits riding on the bulls or something. Aren't we funny? Yeah, he's saying so too. <laughs> I'm sure you'll still be laughing when a pack of wolves rip you limb from limb while you're still alive. Or bandits beat you bloody and sell you as a slave outside of the lowlands. If you worry about my well-being, then you should help me. I need traps and rabbit fur. You're asking for help, but you don't know a thing about me or what I went through. I used to be a respected member of the community. I even could have been an elder if I wanted. But they degraded me because I refused to be a slave to Ashbourne's puppets. So I left. I still tried to contribute from a distance, providing them with fur, food, and creating traps for the sake of the village. But they wanted more. When I asked for better pay, the elder said no and actually warned me not to ask again. At one point, he said he'd speak to the brigands about my behavior. That does sound rough. Yeah, well, the fine people of Herndeen don't agree with you. That's why I want to leave that life behind. What do you mean? I mean, what could he mean? Let's make an arrangement. You need traps and I can teach you how to make them so you can catch smaller animals. You look like someone who can get things done. I don't know why, but I feel like you have a lot going on inside your head. I'm willing to join you if you provide me with shelter and food. Together, we can make each other's lives easier in this land. So, can we cooperate? I think it's possible I'll come back once I've built a shelter for you. Build a housing tent, a place to sleep for your new companion. So I'm assuming that's probably best done next to my stuff. Can I put like a marker so I can find my stuff easier? Mm, all right. Let me try and get that rabbit. Yeah, charge! Am I faster than the rabbit? I think the rabbit is faster than me. I can get you. I can get you. I might not have enough energy to swing at you when I reach you, but That was... that was embarrassing. Oh, we got flax seeds now. That's good. Back to camp. Let's try and build us a thing here. So we want to build a tent. A housing tent. 
So let's place, place the construction site. It'll face our tent. Or be close to it anyway. Like so, because we will be fast friends. Right, we do have one log already, but there's more trees here to fell. We need a log. So let's get the log we have. This guy here doesn't know what's happening to him or what's going to happen to him. Huh. We're just parking in his backyard, basically. And let's cut the tree right in front of our house here. I ran out of wood again. That's a precious commodity. Let's try and be brave and venture over into the place that tried to kill us before. The bandits are coming again. And I realize this has a directional combat system. So... Oh goodness. I'm bad at those. Oh god. Yeah, and I'm immediately getting killed again. Like, how am I... Oh, no, 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 no. No! Mm-mm. Okay. Hit and run tactics. No! Hit and die tactics. Oh. <laughs> Let me jump over my wall. Let me jump over my wall. No, 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 no. My wall. Ah! You tried stupid things. Okay, the combat system is definitely not going to be for me. Just a random person off the road attacking me. I don't think I, I chose the best spot to live. He just comes along, looks at me, and he's like, Nope. This guy? This guy I'm gonna kill. And I have no health. No friends. And I don't know how to finish the tent. This guy is speeding away again now. Holy heck. Look at him go on the minimap. He's just sprinting. I have finished the tent. This tent will provide shelter for your settlers. Can only accommodate two people, so build enough for everyone that might need it. So now I have to run all the way back to the guy. Which I'm now realizing is probably where I support where I supposed where I was supposed to build that shelter to begin with. Or my whole setup, but I didn't know that. Also, wood, like sticks, are like a super valuable commodity. You need a million of them. Be sure to pick up your sticks. Just like when we were kids. Any good news? Is my new home ready? Yes, I'm ready. You can join me. Now you can teach me how to build traps and how they work. Build the research desk for me and then I will show you how it's done. Uh, this was also an achievement. Once we build them, you should place it in dense forests to increase the chance of catching something. Will do. Let's get to work. Your villagers can be assigned to one of the three roles at a given time. A worker fulfills your crafting and production orders in the settlement. A companion travels with you and follows your commands. A guard patrols and defends your settlement from danger. You can command your companions by giving them contextual orders with the E to attack, harvest, and to move. Try it yourself. It's vital that you and your villagers stay well fed. Going hungry will cause your companions, workers and guards to stop what they are doing in order to find food. The better the food, the longer they can work. Alright, so this guy is coming in with us now. I'm, I'm assuming we're not going to take your cool pot and everything. You coming? Yeah. Let's show you home.
I told him to attack a rabbit. Let's see if... I mean, let's see who wins. Rabbit or man? Will he run forever? I can't even see the rabbit anymore, and he's still following it. He, he is a he's a true hunter. How do I get him to stop? We're here now, buddy. Come, let's... Let's go harvest this wood, or go here, or... Follow. I'm pressing Q, it doesn't do that. Q, follow. R, holding, charging, follow. I don't know. Let's see. Your settlement. Switch. I, okay, we only have that one settlement. So he lives in this housing tent now. And we can tell him to do things. Companion worker. No, you are a worker now. Meaning... Uh, job priorities. Harvesting, farming... Hunting. I can't give him anything but delivery, apparently. That's great for a hunter. Build a research desk. Build a simple workbench. Oh, boy. I guess oh, that's going to be so much wood. Don't build close to a road. I can tell you this much about the game. Do not build close to a road. What do we need for this? What do we need for that? That seems simpler. Let's build this first. Simple workbench. Right there. Right here. Okay, he's delivering stuff to it now. I think it's also collecting stuff to deliver it. Yo, that's great. That makes life a little bit easier. And it looks like he might be... Did he deliver the last flax we needed? He's also building it, basically. He finished it! Congratulations, my man. Simple workbench. Craft and manage. Select the recipe to add orders for your workers. Alright. Or craft. We can craft personally directly. I don't think we ever use this log for anything. Can I? Can I? Wait. Alright, so it's more like a work management game as well. Interesting. Let's just sleep. I think we've done enough for today. Let's give us and them a little bit of a rest, I think. Day three, and I already hear people yelling. And I think our guy is being beaten to death. Oh, no, 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 no! Did you kill our guy? All right, now. Oh, no, no, no! Wrong button! Oh, wrong button. Oh, God. Oh, I'm dead. So I made the mistake of pressing right click for a second. That slowed me down so much that they got to me. And then they just beat me to death because I was not allowed to left click anymore. Okay, listen. Listen. Survival crafting is a genre with a lot of options. A lot of them are very arcadey in how their combat works. This is unacceptable in my mind. Like this is obviously one of those good good situations, lol scrub. Sucks to suck. But man, why uh, why would I why would I do this to me if there are much 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 nicer options? And why do I get in Oh no, I didn't have another club. That's fine. This is Okay, I would like to take all of it. Uh, alt is all. Thank you so much for this combat tutorial after my death. That is... There we go. Our boy was beat to death. I wasn't wrong. So our first companion is already dead. Well then, let's build a research desk to get over the uh, loss of our friend there.
Good God, it needs 10 wood. Oh, my Lord. Oh, no. Not again. So you know that you're in battle when they take away your ability to deal anything else, to do anything with the world. I wish I had a shield. Uh, let's try this again. Okay, no. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. I, I don't know how to, how to fight this. I, I don't know how to win in a fight. I mean, I'm aware that I'm supposed to block, but if you block wrong, you're basically immediately dead because you get hit, you get staggered. Oh, there's someone shooting arrows at us. That's great. All right, our research desk is done. Uh, let's manage it. And we will... Oh, good. We don't even need him. Elm Shortbow. Do I also get... Uh, let's start the... Let, let, let's start this. Required resources for small trap. I think I have that f somewhere. Oh God. Wood is so cursed. It's so cursed. I have no flax. Alright. Okay, fine. I don't have any flax. I thought I had. Okay. It's so cursed. It's a miracle! A oh boy! He lives! I don't know how, but he lives and he's delivering flax. All the flax I was supposed to bring and that I brought. Look at all I did. Oh, he's doing the fla He lives! He's back! Uh, he's hurt, but he's back. Let's get the elm shortbow going, shall we? Uh, What do we need for that? Simple cord and river reed. Oh, no. And we got our first simple uh, small trap here. Let him craft and set it in a dense forest. Along with bait. All right, okay. I mean, this looks fairly dense. And this is where we have died the least. And there's mushrooms right there. So we'll just put it here with a berry inside if, if, if that's allowed. Like right here, maybe. Add bait, berry. We done did it. Bring three small trap to Dobron Yorklin, Harden, one pelt. So we need to have our trap be successful, basically. Let's get some berries that we can bring back to the village so he doesn't have to walk around. And we can furnish the traps with... That moment when you get excited about a bunch of sticks in one place because they're so hard to get. Or rather, so dangerous because the world is so dangerous. Look at all these sticks in one place. My god. I hit the mother load. I think I just learned something by observing him. I think he can rip up saplings for wood. I think that's what he's doing. Watch. Now he's not going where I expect him to go. <laughs> How did you get wood? I saw you rip something out of the ground. What did you do? He's collecting wood. He's going to that sapling and... Oh my god. Okay. Alright. Okay. That makes things a little bit easier. Not much, but a little bit. So we build a little campfire, but I think... All we can do is add wood 
But we can only make fish, so there's no like... Um, can't make mushroom soup or something. So let's build a storage chest, I think. A camp chest. Oh. Because that seems like a good idea for me. I can rotate using the mouse as well. So we're just going to put that right next to my house. Let's hope we don't get woken up by our boy being beaten to death again. Let's hope. Did we have more flax lying around here somewhere? I think we do. I think our trap got something. Let's go check it out. Animal remains. So we got some raw meat and a pelt. And now we can add some bait into this again. Oh, lucky. These things don't die. They don't go away immediately. That's nice. I'm just collecting some resources before I go back to camp. It is evening now, and I think I'm gonna attempt to sleep once again. Let's hope that our boy survives the night this time. See you in the morning, buddy. Okay, I was killed in my bed with an arrow into the head directly. What? What is this game? What is this? I hope he takes care of the food, because I can't stay and wait for that to finish. We're off. Off to tell the men about how to do the trap. So they can do the trap themselves. And don't rely on us, who gets woken up with an arrow to the head. It's not very pleasant to wake up, I can tell you. There we are. Let's turn this in. Did you manage to convince him? Here's your third one. Ask me how are we good yet? Really Unfortunately, that's not the end. Of course it isn't. I need something more from you. You see, we have a problem with wolves, and someone has to take care of. Them. Hunting rabbits is one thing, but fighting with wolves? You showed me you're true to your word, but I need more to trust you. Will you do it for me or not? Fall, I'm bringing you the wolf pelts. Fine, okay. Uh, he's doing the roasted mushrooms. We can see that pop up on the on the left side. That's pretty cool. We are keeping the peace here in the name of Morda. News from the kingdom. The what are you guys? A bookseller. I'm a traveler from Wisterfield, and I'm hoping to have some questions. Got some gold to spare. Have you got anything on offer? I don't have any gold, but... Apprentice book hunting three. Can be used to expand your own abilities or those of your settlers. P. I have nothing. Well, I have a little bit of harvesting. Which I... Learn skill by reading book. Can't exceed the potential. Alright. I don't know what that means. What, what are you doing here? Who are you? Innkeeper. Okay, goodbye. I don't want to stay at your tavern. I got my own tavern. 
Find the wolves making the lives of the villagers miserable. Kill two wolves. Like, why do I not think that's a good idea for me to do on my own? Let's let's bring our boy. Let's go fetch our boy and, and do that with him. Alright, buddy. Um, uh, you are now a companion. Let's go, buddy. Why does he have a red laughing face on him? I don't think that bodes well for us. So he just told me that this guy is hungry and that he's gonna leave me soon. Ah. I didn't quite know how to get him food. I hope he eats it now. It's best we can do right now, buddy. Let's hope we can live off of berries. Getting to them wolves. Wait. Wait a moment. How did I get there? How did, how did I do that? Inventory. There. Ah, oh, no. He ate it. I think he ate it. Yep. He ate it. Okay. Let's try and get to them wolves and also kill them and not die. Can I just give them guy all my stuff? Or some of my stuff? That's pretty neat. I think we're close to the wolves, so let's check this out. Oh no. S skeletons and things on the on the ground. Okay, they they immediately attack our companion. That's good. Tank for us! Stop it! I don't know how to block. Like, is that a down attack? What is his attack pattern? Can I even block a wolf? Buddy? Buddy? Thanks for nothing. Thanks for nothing there. I mean, he tanked these two. We would have died for sure had we tried this alone. I think that is very obvious. We done did it. We survived them wolves. Do they have anything in their, in their little place here? Is there like a reward? Hidden? A chest? A treasure? Anything? No. Just dead people. Well, that's a shame. But what is this? Copper rock. Copper ore. Oh. I'll for sure take the copper ore that's lying around here. Buddy. Take some stuff off of me. Okay. My buddy just walked away. I think we don't have any food on, on us anymore. So he just went back to camp to find food. I think anyway. So can I just talk to random people and be like, Hey, you want to join my camp? Have you seen the elder yet? Um, wait, this is not Amelie Merrick. Oh no, Annie Merrick. We can help each other by working together. What do you think? You haven't seen me once we've had the chance to get to know you. You're unfamiliar, and we don't do well with that. Not enough renown. Village trust associate. I understand. Okay. So how do I raise this now? This guy has a question mark. Welcome to my bookstore. Can I help you with anything? I was hoping you would ask me that. Your knack for uncovering mysteries is just what I need. 
I've unearthed something that might greatly benefit from your unique talents. Sure, what do I, what, what, what's up? You've caught my interest. Hidden across the wilds are ancient shrines, each in a repository of forgotten wisdom. Uh, ancient shrines, you say? Sounds like something you would learn about. Sure, let's go. Your sense of adventure is unparalleled. These enigmatic relics are scattered throughout. I'm certain someone of your capabilities will find them. Okay. I'll admit I'm intrigued. I explore these shrines and report back to any findings. Even a chance encounter with these relics could unveil secrets that only someone with your insight could decipher. Great. So I know <clears throat> know how to or that I need to find those things. Cool stuff. I'm supposing I just talk to these people randomly. Stop wandering around. What do you mean I'm not wandering around? So anyone who has a question mark. Yes. Amelie, can I help you with anything? So I've been thinking about ways we can make fools out of the brigands because I formulated a plot that will scramble their tiny brains. Sure, I'm interested. What's your plan? Brigands are dangerous because they're well organized and they trust each other. So I think we should decimate that trust. And I've taken something valuable from one of them, a token. And I happen to know where they keep their secret stash, where they hide loot from their leaders. Place the token in there. Sure, let's go. Let's do that. Uh, Z to track this quest. Put the stolen item in the secret stash. I'm thinking I'm going to return to camp first. Put stuff in there, in camp. Oh, God. Alright, so this was basically our first two hours with Bellbright. We got shot in the head, killed a bunch. We found this guy who died and miraculously came back to life because luckily he wasn't killed another time. We have set some traps, we have helped the village and we get an idea of what this game is about. So it's not just a survival crafting game, but rather a survival crafting colony sim type thing. This could work out pretty well and I... I already see this is going to be quite popular, especially among streamers and content creators. I'm not quite sure if it's super fun to play, but I think I will try it a little bit longer. Because I actually do want to see where this goes. This one is definitely one to watch. Not necessarily to purchase right now, I don't think. But if you liked what you've seen in this video, go pick it up. It's on Early Access, just came out. Even 10% off, as is now normal for early access games. If you are not quite convinced, there's nothing wrong with waiting. I waited 10 years for 7 days to die, and it turned out pretty decent, I think. So, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new here, and also tell me what you think. Do you think Bellride has what it needs to become one of the great survival crafting games? Let me know down in the comments, and thank you so much for watching. Hope you do not die or be woken with an arrow to your head. Have a great day, night, or whatever it is for you, and see you around on the next one. Until then, bye-bye.